transplants how often do you have a opportunity have the opportunity to to present your work and popularizing uh, this new way of green thinking quite often if uh, there is a group that would like to see the cultural monument shock chodwar then we also try to represent them piece of all this work not just the monument the monument itself but also the, th the things that we are working that we would like to do and maybe somebody can help and some people also want to help and they do and have you uh, been able to f uh, f uh, able to find investors who who are interested in uh, uh, dealing with uh, this, uh, these green materials? Maybe not directly investors, but we do hope that we will, would manage to go through some participations on new projects. And then uh, we would, through the projects, like to improve our work and uh, ideas that uh, we got through past work. Mm -hmm. When you when you hear the the name of uh, Bela Kraina, what's your first association? Uh, for me, Bela Kraina is just one specialty. I think that uh, Bela Kraina it means that here live people who are called Beli Kranci. It means white Kranci. And uh, yes, nowadays we are not white because we are not dressed in uh, flex. Uh, but uh, hundred years ago and centuries ago, all people here, mostly all, were dressed, native people were dressed what they made home. And they made dresses from linen, linen when you wash it more you wash it more white it is and uh, for the winter they would use also sheep wool and this is also white and uh, families were big uh, normally average family here was approximately with 15 people and if you imagine uh, the family with 15 people going on the field working something and there are also neighbors with 10, 15 people in the family and other neighbors and other neighbors. So every family would have from 8 till 15 people in a family and all those people dressed in white. Yes, they would... Uh, for me it's normally that they said it is a white country. Bela Kraina. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the name is from here because people didn't have money to buy any any textile and they made it by themselves at home and it's the only way i think this this uh, green thinking and this uh, thing what you do it would be a kind of breakthrough for the future because the quality of the the landscape it, it is it is uh, amazing but not not to mention that in this that region has economical problems uh, because of accessibility and so on but it did this uh, green thinking and uh, beautiful nature uh, could uh, compensate this thing what do you think i hope that yes and i hope that we would uh, have uh, a will and knowledge to make it and to improve it and to, to learn young uh, people how to work it, how to use it, how to work, how, how to live green and how to let live green. Mm 